Hey everyone, welcome back. In this short video, I want to show you how we can query the Cardano GraphQL API to obtain the data for your front-end application to display, display it on the, uh, on the website of your application. Um, so in this video, I will be showing you a small application that I built with Next.js and with library uh, GraphQL request to create the client and to send the queries to the uh, GraphQL server. So in this video, I'll be using the GraphQL uh, URL of the server that is uh, provided to us by Gimbal Labs. So let me just show you this website. So this is the website of the Gimbal Labs. And so the team of the Gimbal Labs provide us with these two URLs which we can use to experiment and to learn uh, by, by playing, <laughs> right? So I, I will be using this uh, MyNet URL. So if you go to this uh, URL, you will come to this uh, website, which is the playground for the GraphQL. Now let's say I want, to I want to look up for the uh, the current uh, latest uh, block on the Cardano. So I can say something like Cardano, and then I want to go to the tip, and then I want to show, I want to check the number and the epoch uh, number. So this will give me just uh, this data. So this is the last number of the block of the on the Cardano. So if I go to the, let me just see, uh, if I go to the Cardano, uh, Cardano scan, then you can see the last block, the number of the last block is basically this one. So it's more or less the same, right? Yeah. All right. Um, so let me just show you this application that I built with Next.js. Uh, so basically, over here, uh, I've created a new application with Next.js. So I've run, if you, let me just close this. So if you run something like N NPX and then create Next app. This will create a new Next.js uh, application for you. And so let me just show you what, that, what I built. So basically, um, this is my uh, directory, my project. So as you can see, I have um, basically, uh, I've added this uh, library. So GraphQL and then GraphQL uh, request. So the GraphQL request is basically uh, uh, just like they say, a minimal GraphQL client supporting Node and browsers for scripts or simple apps, so that you can uh, talk to your GraphQL server from your application uh, by using this library. So let me just see. Let me just show you something um, like this example. So. You're just importing the GraphQL client and also the GQL object from the GraphQL request. Then you have to uh, specify your new client. So you are creating a client. I'm just make it a little bit bigger. So you have to create a new GraphQL client uh, and then specify your endpoint. Yeah, right. So my endpoint will be this URL. Or I can also use this one if I want to talk to the testnet. And so this will create for you a new client. And then you have to specify your query, which we want to send to the GraphQL server. And then you have to just uh, call your client and then uh, request method and pass your query. Right. So let me just show you my application is really really simple so if you have this 
we have these two uh, um, libraries installed, these packages, then you can basically just create your... Uh, let me just first show me this. So I basically have a folder, folder which is called the GraphQL. And inside of it, I've created this GraphQL client. So as I showed you, you have to first import the GraphQL client. Then over here, I have some uh, queries. Let me just show these queries. So I have three queries. I want to get the la latest blocks from the uh, from the blockchain. So I'm creating uh, I'm, I'm creating a new query which you can call however you want. You can call it like this. This will also work. And then I'm passing an argument uh, which is the last number of the block on the blockchain. So I'm passing this argument, and then I have to specify the blocks field which takes arguments uh, there were. So I have to specify uh, the number of the last block from which I want to take or obtain the number of the blocks that I, uh, I'm asking for. So I'm asking for 10 blocks, and I'm asking this from the number of the last block. right? And then they have to be ordered by uh, uh, from the top to the down, right? Um, and then also, I'm also asking for the fees uh, field, and then uh, ordered as so when they when they were um, created, All right? So I also have um, two others, uh, two other queries. So the second one is basically to get the current epoch. So I'm asking. So I'm creating the this query, and I'm calling the uh, Cardano, Cardano uh, type type field, or basically uh, GraphQL field object. Then I'm, I'm passing the current epoch, and then I'm asking for these two values. So I want to ask for when it was uh, started and then the number of the, uh, of the transactions. And the last one is basically just to get the current tip of the Cardano, right? So basically, I'm, I'm asking what, what, is the, what is the number of the last block on the Cardano? So I'm, I'm using this query to call this query, right? All right, so enough of, about the queries. Uh, so over here, I'm basically importing these queries. Then I'm creating a new GraphQL client, and I'm passing my uh, URL, which I store in my uh, environment uh, object or file. So this is over here. So the way that you specify the environment uh, files in Next.js is that you have to uh, in the browser, if you want to use them in the browser, you have to uh, call them next public, and then you can specify your name of the environment file or the uh, variable, right? So I'm passing this URL of the mainnet from the Dandelion server. And so I will be using this to create my GraphQL client. And then I have just three functions which will uh, take or basically send a request to the GraphQL server and then I, I will receive the response with the data from the GraphQL um, uh, from the Cardano GraphQL, right? So this is basically the, the repository of the, of, of the Cardano GraphQL. So as they, uh, as they say, this is a cross-platform typed and queryable API for Cardano. So it means that you have to you can query for the data that you want uh, exactly from the blockchain or the from the Cardano uh, database, and it will give you uh, exactly the amount of the data that you want, right? So this is basically uh, so this is. Those are really simple functions. So 
I'm just uh, awaiting a response. So the way that you that you use this client is that you basically you have to pass this and then call the request method and then pass your um, your query, right? So those are my those are my uh, queries basically. And in the last one, uh, in the last function, I'm passing a variable which will be the the number of the last block, so that I can query uh, this guy with the value of the of the previous uh, GraphQL uh, call, right? API call. Excuse me. So let me just uh, show you this application. This is really really simple. So as you can see, I can access the localhost 3000. So I'm going to localhost 3000, and this is the application. So I have two. Uh, I have two possibilities. I can get the current epoch, or I can get the latest ten blocks. So if I go to the, if I choose to get the current epoch, I will get the current epoch. So basically the same if you go to the uh, to this URL of the GraphQ of the Cardano GraphQL uh, server and then you want to you want to get the what was the the current epoch so the current epoch is basically yeah, like this right uh, let me see Cardano then you want to get the current epoch and then when it was started at and then you want to I don't know let's say uh, last block time if it exists exist right so yeah you can do it uh, two ways of course you, you cannot use this uh, playground on your own on your uh, application on your on your front application so this way you have to uh, you have to you have to talk to your uh, GraphQL server, right? So this is the the first option, and then the second one you can just take get the latest ten blocks from the from the blockchain from the Cardano blockchain. So I'm getting the ten blocks. So let me just show you just uh, the page. So. This is my index, my my page, which you are looking over here. So I'm just creating this. Uh, I'm using the use state from the React. And then I'm uh, I have basically two uh, functions, right? Then I'm just um, creating this uh, website with HTML and some JS JSX. Uh, so, like I said, really simple. Um, if you, if you want to learn learn more about the uh, Cardano GraphQL and which values or which fields you can you can ask for, you can, for example, go to the let me see uh, to the wiki tab, and then you can uh, the interacting with API. And uh, if I can find it, Cardano Explorer. So this, and this is the application. Uh, let me see. Mm. Anyway, um, just like I said, this was the last, uh, this was a very short video. Uh, just a brief, brief introduction to the Cardano GraphQL API. So if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section. Uh, have a nice weekend or have a nice day. <laughs>